Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Line Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. You may notice I sound a little differently. Uh, this is because I'm on my wife's computer. My, my computer has been having some terrible issues again. Hopefully those have mostly been resolved. You may notice it sounds or looks a little different than it normally does. Never fear, okay? Oh yeah, we gotta crank that up though. Gamma has gotta be just a little bit higher so we can actually see what the heck is going on by a little bit. Let's take it up to 149 EQM EHLJ. Um, yeah, we're, we're still dealing with, with issues. New video card, old video card, it, it doesn't matter right now. They're both, uh, causing me no end to problems. So we're gonna focus mostly on just getting Isaac videos done, keeping myself practiced. So when Afterbirth comes out, I'm, I'm ready and good to go. But, um, I, I apologize as well for the fact that this has become an ongoing kind of techno saga, the likes of which no one has ever wanted to see. Um, you know, it, no one is more displeased by this this revelation than I am. The fact that we are now, you know, two weeks fucking deep into... Well, I've got a new video card that shows Mr. Green Man on the screen still. I tested it again today. I've got an old video card. Doesn't show Mr. Green Man, but, uh, you know, there's a 20% chance in every single video that it uh, causes a blue screen and corrupts the video file that I was recording. So, um, yeah, it's it's been fuck October, basically. And I don't mean, like, fucktober, which is everybody's favorite month, of course, but... Uh, no, just, just, uh, this month, uh, fuck it. I'm really hoping that, uh, when Afterbirth comes out, it is as awesome as people assume that it will be. You know what, I'm gonna crank down the gamma just a little bit. I'm watching the video, and it's just, like, a little too gamma-rific here. That looks a little bit more like it. Um, and, uh, Afterbirth, when it comes out, I've accepted that, you know, October's gonna suck. October 30th through to November, you know, the start of November, that's when things can pick up. That's when I can get back to my normal life, hopefully, uh, and and start being able to record and not want to throw my computer off the top of this apartment building. And that'll be sweet. Anyway, for now, I do want to say, while we're still in the administrative point of the first uh, floor of this run here, uh, a huge thank you to Kate, who has helped me out just a ton over the past week and a little bit with the uh, support with the computer issues and always being uh, helpful and supportive and also now lending me her computer so I can do my work as well. So if you ever want to watch uh, me and her open up some Magic the Gathering cards or, you know, play Rebirth Co-op like we do on her streams all the time, you can go to youtube.com slash Studio. Uh, and uh, and go watch her stuff over there. A lot of people don't know that we do uh, a stream once a week and we do all sorts of videos together apart from that that usually end up on her channel. So you, you can go check that out, get a little double dose of Northern Lion, but also, uh, you know, show your support to my wife who has uh, kept me alive and, and relatively free of uh, heart attack risk during what has been not a great couple of weeks professionally at least. So we should have like, I don't know if we have four HP, but we should have enough HP to have survived that. I wanted the money. And probably if I'm being smart, considering I have two keys, what I should do is pick up a Spirit Heart from our uh, shop now, if there's one for sale, which there is. And I actually kind of want to go for Broke and see if we can get Humbling Bundle here. So we got six cents on the first play, that takes us up to six. <laughs> Second play, we get another five. Yeah, we should be able to get to 15. Yeah, we're going to be able to get to 15, that's awesome. I would love to be able to get to 18, which I actually think we're going to be able to do. Why is 18 important? Because then we can buy this heart for 3 cents and trade it in for an immediate at least 4. Or an IV bag, which then we can reroll. So first things first, we can do this once. And then we'll reroll it. And it became Satanic Bible. Which is good! It's a little bit of a strange payout, but I'm actually... I'm all for it. Uh, and let's uh, head down to the next floor, I suppose. All's well that ends well. HP was better than I thought it would be, actually. You know what? I am going to go to the curse room right off the bat, and... I don't fully regret it yet. Uh, maybe explosive diarrhea? Range down is probably the best of the stat downgrades. And we telepills out, and into a room we wouldn't otherwise be able to access, but I don't really want to be in it anyway, but I'm still happy that we saw it, so I know that I don't want to be in it. If I hadn't gone in it, I'd be like, oh, there's probably a bunch of red chests in there, but there's not. Obviously. I know we played Isaac recently as well, but I just... I was like, we gotta get something done, let's do a simple Isaac run, not because it's easy to win, but because I don't have to spend some time thinking about what character we just played as. I don't know, I think we're probably due for a Kane run? No, we had that dope Maggie run, and then I did the Kane run, which was also relatively dope. Not on the same level of the dopeness scale, but, but pretty close. And so we would have been due for like a Judas run. You know what, if I, if I get time to crank on one more run today, maybe we'll do a, a Judas run. 
and we'll we'll have a great time together and it'll it'll be happy and we'll it's like thanksgiving you know it's like uh, having a family dinner at thanksgiving you just ignore the fact that your weird uncle's there and whenever he's not there you talk about him and and the you know behavioral problems that have forced him into the life that he lives now and you just say hey uncle tom probably like an ill-advised name but it, you know that's not up to me that's up to his father Anarchist Cookbook we will pick up and put down and, and probably see if we can snag uh, an extra reroll from our shop, potentially. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, I was going to say, if our boss fight is right here, we'll probably just do the boss fight. And it's pin. So what we're really looking for is just and as many teeth shots as we can get. Those are going to do, like, quadruple the damage of our actual shots. That might actually be the correct uh, mathematical assessment, by the way. I don't know for sure, because I've whenever I have teeth, it seems like one of the very few things I've not had happen to me in Rebirth is one of those runs where I just get, uh, like, nine luck and then just crank on these teeth for the whole time. But uh, it, it sounded like I said crank on these teeth, which, I'll, you know, maybe now and then, but not right now. Not not professionally, of course. Uh, yeah, we'll take Guppy's Hairball. It's not worth rerolling because it's passive, so we want it for sure right now. Um, let's go check on our shop. Uh, there is a battery charge, which is great, because I don't want anything else in there. I could reroll and get something else in there, but, uh, I want to pick up Anarch Anarchist Cookbook, because that'll be our second book out of the rotation, and we have the D6. And we'll reroll it into the D4. F fuck it. Fine. Sure. I'm going to give myself one reroll. And this is sweet as heck, and I am extremely pleased. So, this, um, here's what I'm going to do. We're 2020, like, Mysterious Liquid or Scorpio now. Guillotine, obviously, as well. Then I'm going to take this, uh, the reroll, and I'm going to reroll the D4. And I think this is the best of all worlds. We get to keep the D6, but we D4'd ourselves into a cool run. And then we also get, uh, a bunch of, uh, a bunch of bombs here. I see your cool runnings shining through. I see your cool runnings... And that's why I love you. Anyway, I was like, when I flew, because oh, I'm a kind of a big business guy. I take airplanes now and then, you know? I was I was flying on Sunday. Wow, amazing, I know. It wasn't actually on Sunday. It was on Thursday now that I think about it. But uh, I did a, a there and back. Just wanted to see where this would take us, and it took us to a good place. Uh, I did a there and back in the same day to San Francisco for a, a, a preview event. Videos will be forthcoming there, or coming eventually there. Um, that was good. Telepills, of course, we want as well. Um, Swallowed Penny versus Liberty Cap. Let's take Liberty Cap. And by that, I mean let's pick up Swallowed Penny for some reason. Teleport into our big room here. Uh, and on the way back, I was seated in front of a woman who was very talkative, which is not, it's her right. On, a, on an airplane, all right? She can talk if she wants to. She can leave her friends behind. But uh, she was talking almost exclusively, it's not a long flight, maybe like an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes, about how much she loves cool runnings. And the, the girl that she was sitting next to, I'd say girl, but she was probably like in her early 20s, which means she was born right around the time of cool runnings came out. And she's like, no, I haven't seen it. And she's like, you gotta see it. It's my favorite movie. And I'm like, you know... Cool Runnings, it's, it's got a special place in my heart. It takes place in Canada. It's based on a true story. You, oh, we have the mulligan, I think. Um, you know, sports movies, they get uh, they get a little bit of a pass in a positive way, like a, like a not a fail from me, because I, uh, I, I like sports narrative. You know, if you want to make me tear up during a movie, have an underdog win a, a sports championship against all odds. That's, that's my recipe for a little bit of getting choked up a little bit. Shut up, I'm not crying at the end of the replacements, you're crying! But I am I was amazed that uh, it had this kind of enduring legacy that that has made it this far. Like, she was she was deep into the Cool Runnings fandom. She's like, remember when the funny one got off the airplane? I was like, hold up, that's Dougie Doug. He has a name. Uh, I probably should have rerolled that, and even up to the last second there, I was like, let's reroll that, but my mistake. Rainbow Baby's okay. Um... He, he goes back inside after he gets out of the Calgary airport because he's so cold and then he puts on his duffel bag and, and as if it's a, a coat and walks outside with it. And it's, man, this lady fucking, she knows her shit about cool runnings, man. But she did ask whether it took place during the Summer Olympics or the Winter Olympics. And I was like, you think there's a Summer Olympic bobsled event, lady? I mean, I know you've been living in California for quite some time, but, you know, we have a winter up here. 
Okay, second secret room is over there. Lockdown, not interested in. I'm loving this run right now. This, there's nothing wrong with this one at all. Might as well take that, I suppose. And uh, I don't really care about our shop here. I, I think we can go a floor without going to our shop. We also should be pretty mindful to use a, a bomb whenever appropriate. I mean, we have 99 of them. We also have uh, an orbital with the guillotine, but why use our orbital damage when we could just use bombs instead? Oh good, we re-rolled our range upgrade into a range upgrade, and we'll head down to the next floor, keeping a, a pretty good pace right now. This will be Caves 2. Oh, you want me to re-roll my whole run? Whatever, ooh, whatever you say. I messed that one up, that's okay. One has been opened. That might push that other one out far enough for me to open it. Ah, Guppy's Paw! That's, that's fine, I took a hit. I took a hit, but we got Guppy's Paw. Why is this so huge? Because we can reroll this later. Now, if we get a hanged man, this is where we want to be. Because we can open like four red chests. We already have one guppy item. Even though it got rerolled thanks to the D4, it counts for our system. Now, we do already have the mulligan, uh, but at the same time, at the very least, we'd be guppy with the ability to fly if we could reroll into it. Now, we might not get guppy. We might get something, or we might not get another guppy item, I should say. We could get something else. But that still might be great, and by might be, I mean probably will be great. So that's going to be probably our number one reroll target, just for the the sheer like positivity it can give us. Now I'm going to blow up this judgment for a better deal with the devil chance. We're also getting good consumable gain from it, and we could use it. I mean, we have a lot of bombs, obviously, but we're kind of lacking in the key department, and, and the uh, the money department could be better, but is relatively solid right now. I'm the world's greatest dodger. Suck on that, someone who also played for the Dodgers, uh, Don Mattingly, maybe? I don't know, I, it's, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm, I'm a total bandwagon fan for baseball. I'm a, I'm a real hockey fan, but uh, the only reason I'm following the baseball postseason is because the Blue Jays are doing well, and then, you know, this video is gonna go up after the deciding game of the ALDS, uh, so maybe they've already been eliminated. You could laugh at me, the, the pain will probably just roll off my back, honestly, because I'm not a, a huge baseball fan, but I'd like to see the Blue Jays win. You say, fuck you, you fucking bandwagon fan. You want a team to win that I don't want. What is it? It's a freaking, don't, it's, don't worry about it, okay? Every team has true fans. Every team has, uh, every team has, uh, you know, bandwagon fans when they do well. Just don't take it personally. You know, you're a bandwagon fan for other shit that you just don't know about yet. You're like a bandwagon fan for Android or something. You're a bandwagon fan for Sunships. You know, every nobody's got time to be super into the snack wars, all right? People just, they, they, they got to choose what they want to spend their time on. Personally, I've been a fan of Sunships for years, even when they were having their, their darkest days. And then they got that Subway uh, sponsorship, and then it's picked up, and now everybody's all like, Oh, Harvest Cheddar, ooh, Harvest Cheddar. I was there from the beginning, man. I was there with my RC Cola before Subway, before Doctor's Associates decided that they wanted a piece of the Sun Chips pie. Now all these glory hogs getting their French onions and their garden salsas. I don't know where that joke was supposed to go after that. I see your true guppies shining through. We might even get some more here now that we can actually fly. And by some more, I meant some more troll bombs. We actually did get... Uh, another guppy item. Why not take guppy's paw at this point? Let's, uh, complete the, the guppy dream here. We don't have nine lives yet. We will probably get a deal with the devil here. Fantastic. We got a hematomesis. I'm gonna keep telepills because, uh, it might allow us to get a... Well, at the very least, it's gonna allow us to get out of a room we don't want to be in. Or we could use it to try to find an IM error room or something like that. But this is... I mean, it should obviously be a win at this point. We got Guppy, great damage, 2020, Cricket's body. We already had the mulligan, I don't know how that even works with what we got going on now, but... Uh, yes, let's not be completely stupid. Open this up. We should get a deal with the devil here as well. I don't think... Uh, we won't have a reroll unless I go back to that shop. But you know what, we're doing okay on time. We're gonna be a little bit behind schedule, but that's because I took the extra time to backtrack. Let's go back to our shop, look for a battery charge, because I won't have one for the... Okay, there is not one available, that's okay. Instead, I know we could get that money, but uh, I'm just going to go fight the boss, and we'll hope that we don't want to reroll. I didn't know the boss room would be there, but I assumed it would be close. Alright, dark one, not going to be a problem. One of the, the you know, probably like mid-tier, what? No deal with the devil. One of the mid-tier bosses we could fight here, but uh, not too, too bad. 
regardless. We'll head down to the next floor. Again, we're like 20 seconds behind schedule. That's going to change extremely quickly as time goes on here. So, we're on Necropolis 1. I want to telepills out of an error room. Is, is pretty much my, my ammo right now. Uh, let's try not to squander our deal with the devil chance as well. Not error room. I want to telepills into an error room out of a curse room. This is our reroll target for sure to start with here. Book of Secrets is actually functionally terrible for us, but at the same time, let's keep in mind we're very slowly amassing a nice collection of books that we have found in mysterious treasure chests and rooms throughout the environment so far. No libraries or anything along those lines yet, but still, making making some progress here. A Yara rune is interesting. Judgment will be exploded. The hope, of course, with the Yara rune is that eventually we get a blank card now. And, and I could totally justify taking a, a blank card over the D6 in our situation right now. That was pretty terrible haul. We'll keep throwing down bombs, though, because we want to uh, pick up keys. And actually, a spirit heart doesn't hurt either. Okay. Uh, now we'll go to our item room, because we can. And a holy mantle! This is kind of what you want at this point. Now we can actually use our guillotine offensively if we want to. And by that, I mean we're going to use our guillotine to tell a really off offensive joke. I don't know where I was, I was going to insert another word there and then I was like, who do I want to be mad at me today? Do I want uh, do I want a certain group to be mad at me for making a joke at their expense? Or do I want people who don't feel like it's possible to make a joke at somebody's expense to be mad at me for not going over the top with a super offensive joke instead of just alluding to it? I don't know. So, you know, instead I decided to make everybody angry with me and then at the end I will add in an addendum here that says, well, if you're getting mad at me, just keep in mind where your priorities lie in life, man. And then, you know, that'll make you think about where you are in your life, and hopefully that'll insulate me from the worst of it. In the meantime, Cricket's body's doing work. We will AWAS. The AWAS was not very lucrative for us. And this is just fine. I'm actually in a position where even if I don't get a teleport card, I'll probably do boss rush. It's a little scary just because we don't have any, uh, any means to gain lives right now like we're, we're out of lives I guess is what I'm trying to say the gauze is good though uh, and the high priestess is not bad I guess two of diamonds is fine let's check out our curse room could always use like our eighth guppy item I love having liberty cap pheromones I love having liberty cap and just getting a skinny odd mushroom for one room and just steamrolling everything like our rate of fire is excellent with that and uh, the damage that we do as a result of that rate of fire is out of control there is a secret room we should probably uh, make an effort to check it out really thought that would get the skull but Samson's chain gets rerolled into forget me now I'll tell you what here's what we're gonna do there is a, a strange synergy here that allows us to keep both forget me now and the era rune what we're gonna do or that allows, sorry, allows us to go to boss rush and yet keep the Yara room despite not doing boss rush. So what we are going to do is uh, take the forget me now. Might cost us some spacebar items. Definitely cost us D6 at the bare minimum. And then we are going to take this during the boss rush room. And the idea there is that we won't have to do boss rush, but we'll get to do the floor again. Uh, why why not take it all? And I actually think if we really go fast, and I mean, we, we get to push it pretty hard here. But if we really, really go fast, oh, I ruined Cricket's body, I now realize. But uh, I, I might be able to do boss rush twice, but it's going to have to be very, very quick. We can see where we're going, though. So we know what's on the top left here, one way or the other. Come on, you can do this. I know I can do this. Oh, this might be the wrong way, but I'm going to commit to it for now anyway. Come on, let me go left. Yes, this is right. This is right. Left is right. We are not going to worry too much about stopping at the item room. If it's on the way, awesome. We don't have any keys, though, and I'm not going to farm for keys. I want to do this bullshit double boss rush, like, scum-tacular nonsense. I'm in the mood for it right now. There's our item room. Uh, would we even see it? Like, would we see a secret room? You know what? Because I like you, item room, I was going to check for a secret room. It's not there. It's impossible for it to be there. Hit me. I don't care. The fact that you missed there is going to haunt your dreams forever. Here we go. Mom fight. Easy fight. Take the Polaroid. Take the top right item. Magic fingers, it's garbage! It was a waste of our time! And then we'll forget me now. Check it out. 
All right, we're back in the depths too, which is good that we get to redo this because we pretty much got nothing of value on the last floor except the Polaroid. Now, do we need anything of value to have a chance of success here? No, absolutely not. We're in a great position, but can't hurt. Okay, top right, and the item room is going to be on the way again. This time I'll try to pick up the negative. Just for uh, just for shits and giggles, basically. We all get the, the giggles part of shits and giggles. That's the fun part. What is the shit part? I don't get it. Shits and giggles. Can we just have giggles? I How about just for giggles? I don't want the shits. If I wanted the shits, I'd go eat at an insert local fast food chain here. Am I right, guys? <laughs> it's good to be here. Cleveland. How about them browns, huh? That joke's worked since the 60s. Okay. Uh, let's, uh... The, the Cleveland Browns are a football team, in case that joke doesn't doesn't really hit for you. Where the heck is this uh, boss fight? Gotta go all the way down here? This is a... Like, this is me rushing, I'll admit. But it's a tactical rush. It's not just a rush for the sake of finishing the, the game quickly. It's a rush because the idea of doing double boss rush is kind of interesting and, and funny to me. We're gonna have to be a little faster, though. We're at 19 minutes already. Flies. Do my bidding. Now we're at 19 minutes. And if I have to take some hits to make this work, you know, life goes on. Oh, we're actually closer than I thought. We're totally going to be able to do this. Alright. Uh, we might as well check this. Don't teleport me. Oh. Yes. I'm glad I waited. We got an Algiz rune, which is actually useful, but we're not going to use it. So instead we took Yera with us. And this fight is over. We'll take the negative, and now we decide if we want to fight th this room. Honestly, I don't. That's like the most disappointing thing I could have possibly engineered to have happened there. Are you kidding me? A double key or a double boss rush room, I get magic fingers and then nothing. Well, I tried. I know people are going to say that's why you don't do boss rush, but you know... We still don't have any keys, so I'm not sure our item room ever would have worked out. And also, that kind of shit is just as likely or even more likely to happen on item rooms anyways. Don't give me that statistically ignorant malarkey, okay? If you're going to give me malarkey, you better run it through its p-test and make sure that, uh, you know, it, it holds up to the rigors of the scientific method. Or I will not give it the uh, attention and uh, the acumen that it deserves. I'll give it the huge acumen. You should be dead. Thank you. I didn't want to spend a fly on that horse hockey there. This is going to end up being a fast run. Everything is dead. Basically, I just waited for my fly scouts to figure that one out. I can't believe we still don't have a key. Say what you will about us rushing, but we have been through like, you know, 15 or 20 rooms in the past three floors, and we still have not picked up a key in quite some time. In fact, we only managed to get to the item room three floors ago as a result of the fact that we uh, bought a key from the shop or just found one like two rooms before the item room. I can't remember. Something along those lines. I've noticed the game is looking a little framey here. I think that's the guillotine actually aggravates that a little bit. But it's running, uh, it's running good enough considering that there's no Mr. Green Man. I'll consider that a successful... Uh, a successful mission for today. No Mr. Green Man existence. And uh, no blue screens of death is also acceptable. Yes, I am skipping the bombs. We have 90 of them. And I'm not using them anymore anyway. Because, like, let's be honest. We got Brimstone. We got uh, Guppy. Brimstone, Guppy. What is our win rate with Brimstone and Guppy? It's probably, like, all games that we've had it except one, maybe. I could see myself losing once. I can't believe I was this whole time just one room away from finishing this, but uh, it is what it is. Flies will handle it, and we'll see what we've got here. Death. Happy to have another orbital instead of just being another orbital myself. And you know what? I'll take Brother Bobby for the uh, permanent Polaroid invincibility, and then I'll head downwards here, and we'll hope for a key. And we got one. All right. Like, sincerely, don't spend it all in one place because... Uh, you know, you don't have very much, and you got a lot of purposes for it. Curse of the Blind is meaningless on this floor. As far as I'm concerned, if I'm elected president of the Binding of Isaac Rebirth, every run will start with the Black Candle. If I'm elected president 
of the Binding of Isaac Rebirth, Super Envy will be outlawed. If I'm elected president of the Binding of Isaac Rebirth, everybody will get a $350 sharper image gift certificate mailed to their homes addressed no later than February the 8th, 2015. Uh, 2016, sorry. Sometimes daddy forgets what year it is. Telepills. Puberty. Not so bad. Still got this Yarrow rune, so I, I still need more keys if we're ever going to make the, the dream come true. That's fine. I'm happy to have the spirit arts. Oh, I see the I see the boss fight. It is this way. Okay, thank you, Liberty Cat. Maybe we don't need Black Handle. Small Rock? No. If it was Small Rock, I probably would have just forgotten it anyway. Right, guys? You think I don't notice that? After the fact? Several days after the fact? Well, I do notice it several days after the fact. Uh, that was one of the easier mom's hard fights we've had in quite some time. And we will be finishing this run off, I wouldn't say record time, but pretty darn quickly. Alright, no curse of the lost. Which direction is our boss fight going to be in? Not this way. Um, sorry, I'm on Kate's computer, so some of these messages that pop up, I'm like, I don't understand. Did I use a key? I thought I had three keys. Maybe I opened the golden chest just now? Well, I was trying to decipher whatever that... Korean message was. Hermit card, not useful, but uh, Yara Rune. Now, getting to the point where every single key we get is going to help us open those Yara chests. Not that I'll need them, but, you know, if we can get them, why not? At the very least, we can open four of them, which is a start. And if this contains two more, I'd be thrilled. One more is a start. Apparently, everything is just a start at this point. Are we ever going to get to a finish? I don't know. Who do I look like? Oli Jokinen? Don't answer that because the answer might be yes. You look like Yo Oli Jokinen if he were not a professional athlete and instead like a little bit of a slob. You just finished me. That was a hockey fatality right there. When did this become more beautiful than this? Northern Lion uh, JPEG, Oli Jokinen JPEG. Okay, we Yara Rune. Book of Revelations, Unicorn Stump. BBF, Aquarius. We get a card. Is it the Emperor? It's the world. That's actually pretty good. And we get a Unicorn Stump. Uh, I'm not even going to bother giving us the extra Spirit Heart because it doesn't matter, honestly. We'll come back here to use our keys, though. I really feel like we just open up every single room with uh, a Brimstone Shot followed by a Unicorn Stump play. Basically, we want to summon some flies and then we want to spend the rest of our time uh, creating damage uh, or creating... Sowing Madness, maybe. Mysterious Liquid is like a small, like a very, very small damage up, if I remember correctly. But it is, uh, it, this one is already over. And I'm, I'm happy to see it. That is actually a huge damage upgrade. It's like a 1 point, almost 1.7 damage up. So we can kill enemies without even having to use our, uh, Unicorn Stump. Generate some flies. Walk into them. How did you not die? What kind of performance enhancing rugs are you on? And so my agent is telling me it's actually performance enhancing dregs. My mistake. I've been thinking it's wrong this whole time. See, that joke is that I get vowels confused. Only it's not really a joke if you've ever seen me mistype a seed. Okay. Just do a little bit of sweet ass orbitalness here. And then that's probably enough flies to seal the deal if I'm being realistic here. Easy run. That makes me feel good. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Again, things might have looked a little bit different here or sounded a little bit different. I'm in a different room with a different setup, but uh, hopefully it's a reasonable facsimile or maybe even better. But if you enjoyed it, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.